Hello, hello, welcome everybody. I'm already trying to see what's the view like. I feel like, isn't that funny? Um, I want to scoot it down. Oh, oh, that's maybe not good, huh? Well, let's see. Sorry guys, I thought I had this all figured out. Hello, oh my goodness, sorry guys. I um, Hi Philomena, how are you? I'm kind of messing with my um, thingy again here. Hi Mary, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, okay, so I think I'm all right now. Um, I was trying to, I don't know, it was up so high last week, so I've been kind of futzing around with it, and I thought I had it, and then, woo, okay. So anyway, all right, how's everybody doing? Welcome. Hi, Darlene. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm so glad you guys can all join me. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Facebook Friday, Frilichi Friday, it's another fabulous, Fridays are always fabulous, right? Hi, Marianne, how are you? Oh, yeah, you gotta love Fridays, right? The like, almost the beginning of the weekend, right? So, hi, Tammy, oh, yay, you guys, you're so good. I'm like loving everybody hopping on right away, so this is fun, yay, I'm so glad you guys can join me. So, um, I'm maybe gonna keep this, we'll see, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep this a little bit shorter this week, because I have class this afternoon down at the stamp studio, at one o'clock and I want to make sure that I'm there on time and I have um, you know have to make sure I'm ready to go for that too so um, we'll see I you know I, I don't have quite as long as, of a list as I do a lot of times so we'll see how it goes but so yeah so everybody hopefully good hi Wendy good morning yay oh this is so fun I love having you guys all on here so thank you thank you thank you um what else oh so we survived dance last weekend the whole convention Lily well we basically Lily was the one that had to dance all weekend the mom's kind of hung out and you know you cannot go shopping like the weekend right after the holidays so there wasn't a lot for us to do so we we just kind of actually last weekend was beautiful around here so we went on a super long walk along the river which was oh that was like fabulous I, I kept thinking you know if I were at home I would just be inside and working and not taking advantage of the beautiful weather so it was kind of that blessing in disguise to have to be away from home and not able to work and be able to be outside and enjoy things so yeah, and actually Lily, they did um, one of their dances. They performed um, in the evening time, they had a competition um, and that dance did really well. They they kind of score it at like gold, high gold, platinum. And I'm not sure if this one, sometimes they have like a platinum elite or I don't know, double platinum, whatever. So, but platinum is generally the highest and that was the score that they got on their group dance that they did. So that was kind of fun because this is like the very beginning, like the first little test of competition season. So yeah, we'll be, you guys will be hearing more about that, unfortunately for you all, right? I always have to like just fill you in a little bit on what's going on. Oh, and I'm like, I was debating, what, should I even say anything about this? I think this is kind of funny though. So my son Cade, who is 16 years old right now, I think is gonna go on his first double date tonight. Hi Lori, hi Kim, oh my gosh. So yeah, we'll see how this all goes. Um, it's, oh, that's cute. Thank you, Marianne. Good for Lily, she says. Um, actually, Lily was the one that informed us that Cade was going on a possible double date uh, tonight. He and his best friend that lives right next door um, are going to be taking a couple of girls out, out to dinner or something that Lily dances with. So Lily's the one that hopped in the car and told us, hey, guess what? <laughs> That's what happens when you have a younger sister that like knows everything, right? So anyway, we'll see how that all goes. I'm like, oh, that's like the first kind of um, maybe sort of official date that Cade will go on. He's not been interested in girls at all, which, you know, everybody's like, oh, yeah, that's fine, and I feel the same way. So, oh, I don't know. Oh, my gosh, it's just kind of funny. We're, like, kind of teeing about it. The family is, so <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes, though, okay? Um, so what else? Oh, my dad's 76th birthday was yesterday, too, so we're having a birthday party for him tomorrow night and we went out and for dinner last night after Kate's basketball game so we've been having lots of good family fun times so hi Monica oh my gosh how are you I'm so glad you can join us hopefully everything's good for you further south where it's a little bit warmer because it is freezing cold around here in Michigan right now oh my goodness uh let's see what's Marianne saying uh, uh, <laughs> it's okay let him take it yes exactly let him take his time yes exactly exactly Marianne so, okay, do you guys want to, let's do our drawing for, do you guys remember last week for that lovely lipstick, that um, kind of a white stitched edge ribbon? This is what we're going to give away today. So I've got lots of entries. You guys know the drill, right? One entry for commenting, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. 
Uh, another three entries if you sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that already. And then, what was my random day? I picked Thursday, so just yesterday, actually. Anybody that commented or shared any of the posts on Thursday gets three more entries in the drawing. Um, yes, Lori's saying it's cold in, in Ohio, too. Yeah, I'm sure. You guys aren't that much further south, right? Unless you're super far south. It's a lot different, like in southern Ohio. Um, we did like a road trip one time, and I was like, oh, it's really very pleasant down there. A lot more, um, you know, temperate the climate is. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Shaking them up. Okay, there are so many in here. Okay, I got to make sure. I'm always so worried. I have like a handful. Okay, I think I'm down to one. I whittled it down to one. And Miss Wendy Drowley is the winner of our lovely lipstick stitched edge ribbon. So Wendy, I will have this for you down at the stamp studio. Congratulations, ma'am. Very, very cool. All right, I gotta dump, oh, I forgot to bring anything. I have to dump these things out. <clears throat> so I can put not quite as many entries for the other drawing that we do, but I have to dump those all out. Northwest Ohio, okay, Lori. Yeah, so you're not, you probably have about the same weather that we do. Hmm? Um, Okay, what do we want to do next? Oh, well, let me tell you guys about, these are so cute. They're called the Frosted Flower Embellishments. We always have that little bit of glare there. And I don't know the colors, ladies. I wish I could tell you. That looks like clear. That looks like some kind of a pink, and that's some kind of a pale purple. Um, but they don't tell me the names. They're in the catalog. But anyway, they're really, really, really cute. These little baby flowers. Actually, they're not super tiny, um, but then they've got the glue dots behind them. So they're they're just a really cute embellishment. And what do you get? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So 12 of each color, which is a good amount. Can you guys see? Those clear ones are a little bit hard to even see in there. This is what we're going to give away next week on Facebook Live. Again, one entry for commenting, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video, uh, three entries if you um, sign up for my email list, and then I'll pick one random day anywhere from today through next Thursday. I just have my little slips of paper and I pull one out. And like last week, I picked Thursday. So if you comment or share on any of those posts on the random day that I pick, you get three more entries in the drawing to win those super cute little frosted flower embellishments. I'm having a hard time remembering names of things this time. I guess it just always does take a little while. So, okay. All right, now let's see. Um, oh, I have my little list here. Um, I was gonna jump right beyond this, but okay. So we already have two new ink-spired stampers. Uh, new downline, actually, so these are kind of in my third, is that right? Second, I don't know, whatever level, right? So some of the gals in my downline that I brought in and got the starter kit, they have now shared the starter kit opportunity with. So I want to welcome Jennifer Moore and Catherine Sprague. So Sandy Maletsky um, offered the starter kit to Miss Jennifer Moore and Karen Birch offered the starter kit to Catherine Sprague. So they have both joined the Inspired Stampers. They took advantage of that awesome celebration deal. What I need to find out is, ladies, did you get the bag or not? That craft and carry tote that I showed last week, the really pretty like navy blue. I think it's I think it's Night of Navy and Whisper White and maybe Coastal Cabana with Coastal Cabana accents on it. But that super cute bag. I'm just dying to know if the gals that just bought the starter kit, if they got that craft and carry tote or not. So I don't know. Uh, just let me know if you ever, um, Karen or Sandy, if you're watching or if the new gals are watching, I'd love to know. Um, and hopefully you guys are enjoying that too. So if anybody has any questions, I went over the starter kit deal last week, so I thought I don't need to do that um, every single week, but I will definitely be mentioning it because it is such a great deal right now. So if you have any questions, I'll include the link. Um, there are so many great benefits to be on like the deal that you get with the starter kit and that 20% discount that you can get. We have an awesome group. Our Inspired Stampers group is awesome. Like Wendy and Kim are already saying, welcome to the group, ladies. See how sweet they are? We just have a wonderful group of ladies that participate both here on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, and then we have another Inspired Stampers um, that's just for anybody in our downline, um, a separate Facebook group as well. So lots of good you know, community if you're not local. 
And then obviously, if you're a local, we do um, uh, group gathering meetings, basically the third Tuesday of every month, which is coming up this next week on Tuesday the 15th. And I am trying to do Facebook Live from those two on our Inkspired Stampers Facebook group. So if you can't make it to the meeting, again, if you're not you know, local, you can still participate. So I'm going to bring my camera and my whole little setup, and we're going to try to do another Facebook Live um, on Tuesday next week at our Inkspired Stampers group gathering. So... But again, let me know if you have any questions on that starter kit because it's such a good deal. I just can't, oh, I don't know why you wouldn't want to take advantage of it. If you love stamping up stuff, I mean, everybody, there's so much that everybody wants that why not get the discount on everything that you want to order, right? Um, let's see. So, oh, I'm like jumping around a little bit. Um, am I? No, I got to make sure. Yeah. Okay, no, we're good. Um, so don't forget Occasions Catalog Paper Share. I'm not going to show everything again. Hi, Karen. How are you? Welcome. I'm glad you can join us. Um, but just, I'm going to grab my little um, flyer here that I put in orders and things. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different packs of designer series paper in the Occasions Catalog. Basically, you get a quarter of every single pack of paper in the catalog. It's only $24, so you get an awesome, I'm not even gonna call it a sampler because it's a quarter of a pack of every single um, designer series paper pack in the Occasions catalog, $24. It ships to you, if you need it shipped, it's priority mail shipping for another $7, so what is that, $31. RSVPs are due by Tuesday, January 29. And expected shipping date is Friday, February 8th. But like I said, in each group of four, I'll order right away and get them shipped out to you um, right away as well. Because there's that Valentiny paper in there that I want to get to everybody as soon as I can. So uh, let's see, Karen saying hello, Amy, and hello, Wendy and Kim. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, okay, I'm keeping with my list here. Let's see. Oh, uh, another thing to make sure to let you guys know, bingo, which is on I'm like trying to look at the calendar in my mind Wednesday January 23rd I think it is so two weeks oh I don't know it's le a little less than two weeks away but I need RSVP and payment today so if anybody else is interested in coming to bingo let me know because I'm going to be ordering over the weekend because I have to get all the prizes because we play bingo for stamping up prizes for stamping up goodies stamping up product is what you win if you get a bingo and then we also do make and takes and i make cute stuff for you and you get like a little goodie bag package of stuff so it's lots of fun um if you've never been it's one of those when people aren't sure should i come down to a class at the stamp studio this is the thing that they always pick to do first to kind of get in and see what it's all about so let me know i'd love to have you join us at bingo but again rsvp and payment are due today so i need to know like right away if you're interested and come into bingo okay um okay so now we are going to do our other drawing for that super cute this is that so hoppy together do you guys remember um this was a stamp set that i demonstrated this oh my gosh i, I want to make like a million more of that little guy that super cute little card that i demonstrated last week uh featuring that so happy together stamp set so your name went in the drawing to win this so happy together stamp set if you put an online order in of at least thirty dollars between last friday like facebook live and this past wednesday and you also are everyone is going to get this card and then the other card that i demonstrated last week regardless of you know whether you win or not but so i put the names in my little basket here for um, that so right so happy together stamp set if you put that online order in and let me see who is the winner <laughs> you've been waiting Karen is that what you're saying you've been waiting for this so happy together stamp set I know I've been trying to be really disciplined too about not ordering everything all at once because you can't even play with everything all at once so get a little bit and play with it and then get another little bit so okay the winner is oh my gosh Miss Wendy you are on fire today so seriously, congratulations, Wendy. You are the winner of the So Hoppy Together stamp set. Very, very cool. <laughs> oh, no bingo, huh? Oh, oh, okay, you're saying you've been waiting for it. So Karen, you're saying you're coming to bingo. I think that's what you're saying. I'll put you down, okay? Thank you, I'm glad you can come. And congratulations, Wendy. I'll have this for you down at the stamp studio. That is awesome. Okay, so do you guys want to know what we're going to give away? Hi, Angeline, how are you? Oh my gosh, you just missed 
So I know your name was in that last drawing. Oh, I'm bummed. I mean, not not that I wouldn't want Wendy to win also, but Angeline doesn't get to um, get on here quite as often. So that would have been fun if I would have just drawn your name. But I will, you're gonna get the projects that I demonstrated last week on Facebook Live as a thank you for your online order. So, um, okay. Oh, so this is what we're gonna give away this week. Another, this is called the Home to Roost stamp set. It's another celebration stamp set. And, oh, I love, I don't think I really even looked that closely. So yes, coming to bingo, awesome. Okay, I've got you down, Miss Karen. Um, so home to roost, the first one, I love that sentiment. It says, enjoy the simple moments. Oh my gosh, now I can't wait to, I had honestly not looked that closely at this stamp set. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I love that sentiment. Okay, so um, now I gotta get my stamp set out so I can um, make something. Enjoy the simple moments. And then here's another one that says thanks for your friendship and oh that's nice I'm missing you we don't have that sentiment very often Nikki hi how are you I'm glad you can join us and then adjust a note very cool and then with the rooster and then some kind of oh grasses they look like grasses you know that grow in like ponds and lakes and things so very cool just a nice oh I love those sentiments home to roost so this is what we're going to give away on next week's Facebook Live. Kim says she loves that rooster. Me too, have you colored it? That's kind of why I'm a little bit nervous about this stamp set, because I don't know, uh, my coloring skills are not up to you know snuff, maybe compared to a lot of other people's, um, but I, I love those sentiments for sure. So I wanna see if somebody's um, stamped anything with this Home to Roost stamp set, especially if you've colored that rooster, I wanna see it. So post it to our Facebook group if you would, that would be awesome. So, okay. Um, if you use the host code, I'm like, I'm looking, where's my piece of paper? I think it's like slipped underneath somewhere. If you use the host code that I will give you, it's C-J-F-G-U-V-A-T. If you order online, use that host code, your name goes in the drawing to win this Home to Roost stamp set, and you're also gonna get the projects for sure that I demonstrated on Facebook Live. Oh, you have seen a ton of examples. You know what, I just have not looked online yet for any um kind of inspiration for the stamp set so okay very cool they look great all right i'm gonna have to i'm gonna dive in um this is one i just haven't i was like i said a little hesitant about that rooster so okay awesome but cool i'm gonna be excited to play with this one very soon and whoever wins if you would show us what you come up with that would be very fun too so okay that's next week though um we'll do that drawing okay all right i gotta peek at my notes here um, because I feel like I am talking a million miles a minute, but I think I do that all the time, probably, don't I? That's just how I am. <laughs> you guys don't know, like, right after I turn this off, I, like, crash. I mean, I don't really, but I kind of want to sometimes. <laughs> yes, okay. So, you guys, I think we actually covered everything. Um, I want to do a quick reminder should I show you? I'm just gonna show you guys these. So quick reminder about that class to go, the meant to be class to go. I'm gonna kind of flash up a couple projects at a time here. What am I gonna do? So these are two of the projects that you can make in the meant to be class to go, that cute little three by three note card and an, a little matching envelope with the little um, designer paper on the back and then another fun just for you card so you'd make two of those and then you're going to make two of this happy valentine's day or if you want to put another sentiment on there you can and then you'd make two of that little treat box so awesome super cute oh just so much fun um little valentine or love you um little projects there so if you're interested i will include the link in the meant to be class to go um so you can get signed up for that oops and i'm dropping stuff so, okay, you guys, I am like, ooh, I'm gonna like pat myself on the back because I think I'm doing it. This is like the quickest I've ever um, done a Facebook Live video, but okay. So, because we're gonna turn the camera down, here we go, and we are gonna do our stamping already. Isn't this awesome? I have so much cute stuff to show you guys, and a lot of it I need to show you like down this way, not at me. So. Oh, what is Karen saying? That she loves the cute projects. Yes. What did I just show? Oh, thank you. <laughs> what is she talking about? She's talking about the meant to be class to go. Okay. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> I'm glad you like those projects. Oh, brain like fart moment there. Okay. All right. So turn your heads away for a quick sec and I'm going to flip the camera down and we are going to do our stamping. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Hold on. Hang tight with me, ladies. Okay, 
All right, we're gonna flip the view. Yeah, LOL for sure, Karen. Oh my gosh. Crazy Amy these days. Okay, so you guys, there's the host code. that CJF Guvat, G-U-V-A-T. It's like I'm speaking another language, right? If you put that minimum $30 order in by next Wednesday, you're going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate right now. And your name goes in the drawing to win that home to roost stamp set. Plus, if you put in, if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me. And right now, you get a celebration choice too. Hi, Liz. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. We have um, the Simple Beautiful car class this afternoon, and I have I still have spots available. If you're off work and want to come hang out and make some cute cards with us, uh, yeah, it's celebration time right now too. So that's an awesome time to come down and uh, what play with my stuff, decide what you want, get free celebration choices. So okay, all right. Um, this is always like the biggest decision for me, like which card to show you guys first. So I think, as I stand here, hmm, what should I do? We are, all right, I'm gonna scoot that up out of the way. We're gonna do this one first. Oh my gosh, okay. So I have to remember the names of everything here too. I'm gonna show you guys these things. So I think my favorite part about this card is that designer series paper. I know I showed you guys this the other day, but I have to show it to you again. I'm gonna do it this way because I think it might show up a little bit better too. So I'm gonna start with that because this is right now my all-time favorite designer series paper. It is called the Happiness Blooms designer series paper. We're just going to pull it all right out of here. Okay, so this is the piece that we used on the card. And then here is the back side with just some fun um, kind of leaf, flower leaf type of thing, right? Okay, so I've used a lot of that paper already because I cut a bunch for the cards on the Simple Beautiful card class. I love all of these bold, bright patterns though too. Uh, yes, Kim, the paper is awesome, isn't it? Okay, so here's one side and then I'm gonna flip it and then here is the other side. And I think, I don't know if it's called Happiness Blooms, but it's the whole suite of, it probably is, Happiness Blooms suite. There is a stamp set that has kind of um, that shape of flower on it as well with a bunch of other awesome, I don't know, other stamps in it too. <laughs> I don't have that stamp set yet, I just have the paper. But yes, very bold, isn't it? I think that's why I like it, because it really jumped out at me. And then here is the back side of that one. So this is a little more neutral. This, this looks like a good um, designer paper maybe for some manly projects, I would say. And then you guys saw this one. I love this paper too. Yeah, super bold. That's why I'm attracted to it, I think. Oh, and then some cute polka dots too, kind of random. I think that just cuts off for a second. I was watching back after that happened the other day. I just sent it to voicemail. So I apologize. It might just kind of blank out for a second there for you guys. So, but we're back now. And then here's some more. Love all those. The, I think that's that shape of the flowers. Really cute. Now I feel like I might need to look at the um, catalog too. But then here's the back side of that one. And then we've got some, oh, I, I flipped this one because I was trying to decide if I might use this paper at some time. So then the other side is those it almost looks like starburst there so yes yeah, super bright and bold awesome 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 paper so now i want to peek because i do have my catalog and i'm i'm not um gonna get in trouble by showing the inside any longer because you guys can all see it too um let's see so where i should have had this marked yeah but i was curious so that happiness blooms that's the name of the suite so that is the paper that I showed you, and then the stamp set is called Bloom by Bloom. So there's that um, flower that I was talking about. Actually, a bunch of them, really. So they all coordinate really well. Kind of the look of that stamp set coordinates really well with that designer series paper. And then those are those cute little Happiness Blooms enamel dots, too, that come in the colors. You know what? Now I want to make sure. Yep. I, have, I was like... I'm, the colors that coordinate are Call Me Clover, Calypso Coral, Lovely Lipstick, Night of Navy, and Pineapple Punch. So those are the colors that are all in that designer series paper that I just showed you. I gotta get those little bitty blooms punches too. Oh my gosh, so many cute things. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. I cannot wait to get those too. So, okay, awesome pack of designer series paper. If you don't have it yet, I would put it on your wish list. Okay, quick sip of water here. Okay, so let me, oh, what else do I wanna show you guys? Okay, so that's the card that we're gonna make. Um, 
Oh, Karen's saying it looks like 60s or 70s paper. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that, Karen. Good thought. Maybe that's why I like it, too. It's kind of a little bit retro looking. Okay, so this is the Butterfly Gala stamp set. And it has a coordinating punch that works very well with it right so this is kind of a double punch and actually the stamps are they stamp like that too i didn't realize that until i kind of opened it up and started playing with it here's a good example this one that's still in here right so those so one butterfly kind of right on top of another they are hooked together so that then you can punch them out perfectly with your punch right so, but super cute. We've got sentiments. You've been on my mind. Thank you so very much. That's the one we use. A little note and the good things in life are better with you. So really nice sentiments and then fun butterflies. Oh, there's a Hello Beautiful too. I missed that one down there. So awesome stamp set. I love anytime you can get a punch too. I'm all about the punches, right? Oh yeah, there is a little bit of die cutting because of course we are using my absolute favorite, my rectangle stitched framelits. I think I showed you guys these last week or the week before. Um, so they stitch on the inside and the outside. So we're gonna use, this one came from right over there in that pack. So we're gonna use that framelit on our sentiment. Okay, let me get the rest of my things out here and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. And the one thing that I love about kind of this card layout too is if you have to make multiples of this card, you can actually, because this is a piece of three by three designer series paper, so you're gonna get four, uh, you're gonna get 16 pieces of designer series paper, or 16 pieces, right, out of one, one 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper is what I'm trying to say. Yep, because it's three inches by three inches. So three, six, nine, 12. So there's four and four. And what's four times four? It's 16, right? <laughs> okay, oh, let's see. What am I? I'm missing some comments. I got to scroll back. Sorry if that's, um, I'm trying to scroll carefully so that it doesn't make things bounce. Um. Oh, Karen says you're hoping to use these tonight yes oh awesome i can't wait to see what you come up with karen and thank you marianne i appreciate that so okay let's go ahead and make this card you guys wanna um so here we go actually no let me give you dimensions because sometimes i forget to do that okay so this is a tall card stands like that so with our knight of navy cardstock along the actually along the eight and a half inch side we cut it in half at four and a quarter inches right here and then along the 11 inch side we fold or scored it in half so we can fold it at five and a half inches okay so let's scoot that guy out of the way right there maybe then like i said this piece of designer series paper measures is that in the view just barely right three inches by three inches okay and then our call me clover piece behind it measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter and i think i did something on the inside too what did i do yep i stamped so there's an example of that stamp too with the two butterflies together you could cut them if you only wanted one of the butterflies you could cut any of these stamps too that wouldn't be a big deal so then i just have some scrap pieces for my butterflies um, and then that's for my sentiment. And then this is that inside whisper white piece that measures three and three quarter by five inches, okay? So, all right, let's do, we don't need these guys. We can do our stamping on this one and this one and that one. And this is just a punch piece. Okay, so with my um, pineapple punch ink, open that guy up. These, this one's super tight. I haven't played with pineapple punch too too much okay so we are going to kind of tap 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 and we're just going to ink this up just kind of in the corner little flying butterflies there oh you know what I didn't bring was my um, paper piercing mat okay so I'm going to flip that over and try that again and I'm going to use my fingers and make sure I get all the ink there that worked better okay so do you see it didn't stamp super well there so flip it over and use the other side no big deal um let's see what is kim saying this would make a nice uh u of m card yes <laughs> you just had to throw that out there you're right although you know for the sparty fans i did throw a little bit of green in there too just to uh keep it you know 
legit, right? <laughs> but you're right, I could do all, I could do all blue and yellow. My maize and blue, you're right. Hey, we watched, sorry to get off track, but we watched them play again last night. They are still undefeated. Oh my gosh, they have had like the most amazing season and they are so much fun to watch too right now. I love, I love Michigan basketball right now. It's a lot easier to be a Michigan basketball fan than a Michigan football fan right now. So we're moving on. We love our, our basketball. Okay, so... Now we have our thank you so very much. And this one is really thin. So you want to ink it up like the kind of the lines on here. So I really had to ink pretty well. I might need to, there, that looks good. I was going to say, I might need to re-ink my ink pad a little bit too. So, but okay, we got that. So now I think let's do, let's punch our butterflies. So can you guys see that? It's a little, you know, tone on tone, so it's a little bit harder to see, but we're gonna just slip this in here. And it is, it's hard for me to see. Cause you guys, the camera's right in the way. You don't know that, but like, I, I'm trying to like, I wanna literally put my head right about where the camera is so that I can make sure. I'm gonna get those glasses picked up from the eye doctor very soon too. That might help me also. Okay, so that one worked. And honestly, because it's kind of that tone on tone, if you didn't punch it perfectly, I think that would be all right too. Okay, so we've got two of those guys and then we're just gonna slip this right in here. So with the Call Me Clover, I didn't even stamp on those. Punch those guys out, right? Now we need the big shot, but I don't wanna lose these things. So I'm gonna scoot them right up here so I don't lose them. We're gonna die cut our sentiment. So I've got my big shot as usual, right? My magnetic platform. Okay, one clear cutting pad underneath. My paper, my framelit. I'm gonna line this baby up. Put the other clear cutting pad on top and we are gonna crank our handle and get this little guy going, okay? So simple card, I've really kind of gone back to the basics in a lot of cases um, just because it's so easy. I mean, you know, you can make cute projects without having to go crazy with things, right? So I'm kind of all about that because time is limited these days. So, okay, we can go ahead and put our card together now. Let me get my adhesives around here. Um, Where is everything? Okay, so I've got my card base right here. We are gonna just add some adhesive. Oh, hi, Sandy, how are you? I was just earlier saying welcome to Jennifer Moore. Um, I'm trying to remember if we added her to this Facebook group. If she's not already on here, Sandy, ask her to ask to join. Um, if I'm not friends with someone on Facebook, I can't automatically add them. So if she would like to be a part of this group, ask her to do that, okay? Oh, yeah, Marianne, you're right, especially with two teenagers in the house, yes. Yes, it's, oh my gosh, you know, everybody's lives are busy, right? Um, but yeah, my kids, they stay busy for sure. We had Cade's basketball game last night too. That's what I haven't been telling you guys about is Cade's basketball. That's been fun. Um, they're not completely undefeated, but they're doing a good job this season. Um, okay, so now, let's see. We're going to just put a little bit of adhesive because I kind of like to just put adhesive like right there in the middle of the butterfly so I can kind of fold that up like that. And then we're going to pop that one on there. And then now I'm trying to remember. Oh, I popped them both up. Oh, well, okay, forget that. I was thinking maybe, I wonder, you know what though, let's do it different. Let's do this one. We're going to actually put on the card I showed you guys originally, I put the green Call Me Clover butterfly on with a dimensional, but this time I'm going to put that on with adhesive and then I'm going to pop this one up. That might help actually kind of, so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, so then we're going to do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to bend this guy just a little bit again. I'm going to add some adhesive just right in the center of him. And I'm going to put him right about there. I'm going to press pretty hard and then I'm going to kind of fold those up. And then with one more little mini dimensional. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Hope you had a good Christmas. Things are going well for you. We just played, are you, I think you're in Freeland and we just played Freeland in basketball last night, actually. The boys, freshmen and JV and the girls JV all played. And I think Alma is coming to Freeland tonight, varsity. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, you're good. I'm glad. Good, good, good. And, and Christmas was good. That's right. That's what I was asking about. Okay. So now with, this is really hard to like stamp and like converse. <laughs> you know, I'm not very, I can do one thing at a time and that's about it. So these are, and they're really hard to see, aren't they? Can you guys, this is kind of yellow. Um, this is Daffodil Delight. These are the Gingham Gala, I think, sequins. So they're, they're really a little bit difficult to see. Actually, that almost is better when I move my hand away, isn't it? So these are flowers, and then those are just um, like regular kind of round sequins. So no take your pick tool again this week. Ladies, I am failing myself. Okay, so we are going to kind of dig underneath there. So we get our glue dot. We are going to put one little, oops, that kind of flipped on me. All right, there, I've got it. So we're gonna put one little flower, a Daffodil Delight flower there. And then with just one of the regular sequins, kinda of wanna just add a little sparkle to this butterfly's body or belly, right? So we're gonna put one right about there. <laughs> and you like those? <laughs> You're right, Marianne, I am slipping up. It happens. It's just not good when you do it like live, right? But there, okay. So then I used, and I don't know if these are clear or they're supposed to be a color or what, but I used these um, clear, I'm gonna call them, on the little body or belly of my butterfly. So that's it. But I just, I love that. You know what, it is It is like 60s and 70s paper too, Karen, you're right. I think those kind of bold retro patterns. So super cute and thank you so very much. Oh, and then I forgot, actually, we gotta put this on the inside, one of these little sequins. That is my one thing. These sequins tend to kind of like pop off of themselves. There we go, scoot that guy out of the way. Okay, yeah, you have to be really careful that they don't kind of all dig underneath each other because that's when you have a problem. They start kind of popping off. And we don't want that because we want to use them on our projects, not just fling them around on our table, right? Okay, so then we're just going to put this piece right on the inside. Then you can write your the rest of your thank you on the inside of your card. So there we go. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate that, Kim and Philomena. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Philomena, while I'm thinking of it too, I still, I don't think I have your address yet. So I really want to get those um, Happiness Blooms enamel dots out to you. So if you give me your, your um, mailing address, I can get those sent out to you, okay? Um, yes, you find them sticking in the carpet and on your clothes. Marianne, I hear you. Yeah, yep, they do, they just kind of jump off of those little sheets sometimes, I think. So gotta be a little bit careful with them. Okay, so we're gonna scoot all of this stuff out of the way and then we will do our next project. Okay, gotta get my, keep myself organized. All right, ladies, and this one. Where are my framelits? Right here in front of me, okay. There, good, okay, so, okay, you guys, I'm really, really, really excited to show you this next project. Okay, <laughs> oops, I got something else stuck there. Okay, so check this out. Oh, and Philomena, you love that designer series paper. I know, me too, It's my. it is truly my favorite from the Occasions catalog right now. And then this, and I didn't bring it over, shoot. Oh, all right, I'll show you guys that maybe next week then. But this is some more gingham paper, but this is part of the, I don't even know the name of this one yet, the Celebration Designer Series paper. It is, oh yeah, so, oh, it's the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. So it's black and white on one side and then kind of really pretty floral, colorful butterflies on the other side of the paper. Oh, oh, Philomena, you did send it. I, I didn't see it, so I don't know. Let me know if you're sending it as a Facebook message or an email, um, but yeah, I will definitely get that out. You're probably wondering where the heck it was, right? Um, so yeah, let me know again, and I will make sure to get that sent out to you. So I apologize that we've kind of had a delay with that. Um, thank you, Marianne. I'm glad you like that balloon card. So what was my other thought? Oh, I know. So if you guys don't already know this, that the Botanic Butterfly Designer Series paper, this is one of the items you can get for free with a $50 order during celebration. But the other cool thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is that it coordinates with that butterfly duet punch. Now I'm sure you can't even read that. But some, not all of them, but some of the butterflies in this Designer Series paper can be punched out with that butterfly punch that we, oops, there we go, the glare as usual, the butterfly punch that we used 
on that other card. So that's kind of cool too. I love when everything kind of works together, right? Okay, so that black and white paper is part of the Botanic Butterfly Designer Series paper. Then, and actually I used a bunch of these. Okay, yeah, Philomena, if you would email that to me again, I'm, unless it went into my spam folder, which I'm not very good about checking, I did not get it from you. Um, and you, if you need, I'm gonna give you my email address one more time. So it's A-M-Y and then a period, and then F is in Frank, R-I-L-L-I-C-I, at yahoo.com so just in case um, maybe, maybe there was uh, my name is not easy to spell I do know that so a lot of times people put the C's and the I's and L's in different places <laughs> okay so but the other things I want to show you guys so we used the sweet wishes stamp set no no it's called hello cupcake well, it says sweet wishes right there in the sentiment, right? Okay, so this time we use the Celebrate Your Day stamp from the Hello Cupcake stamp set that is will probably be my all-time favorite celebration stamp set the entire time, all the way through. Okay, so we use that. We use the Designer Series paper, and then, oh my goodness, we used, I love, and it's really, I have to show you guys for real, the Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheets. So Grapefruit Grove here and Lovely Lipstick here. And they, it's like they caught it at kind of this crazy, almost looks like tie-dye look, right, to the paper. Um, and then the pink though. So we used that Lovely Lipstick paper. Can you guys, woo, you see all the shimmer sparkle on our balloon and on that strip right there. So I have to show you guys for real the paper. So it comes, let me make sure, because I, yep, you get eight sheets, four of each of these colors. Yeah, it does, look at that in the light, oh my gosh. It's funny because I think it's the glare too, because it doesn't really look, this one doesn't look quite so psychedelic in real life. <laughs> I guess it kind of does. But anyway, this is the Grapefruit Grove. I'm trying to like get it. Man, that's really hard for you guys to see. I guess it's that's why it was so hard to photograph. But it's it's not it's just not as crazy, but it's really really pretty. Just that kind of a pale peach, right? Grapefruit Grove here and then lovely lipstick here. Isn't that nuts? Look at that. So, yeah, but they're very cool. Four 12 by 12 sheets of each of these. So, I've used a bunch of my lovely lipstick and now I'm going to be moving on to my that is crazy, the Grapefruit Grove. So, yeah. So, another celebration. So, we used three celebration items, right? the foil sheets, the designer series paper, and the stamp set, all on this card. So you guys have to shop so that then you can get all of these things. And make sure to use that host code, right? Because then you get your name in the drawing for more free stuff. Okay, so let's see, let's make this card, you wanna? I gotta get everything out. Yeah, that's the Hello Cupcake stamp set that we used, right? And oh, then the other thing, I'll show you guys these. I have these in this little package here so I can get to them a little bit easier. These are the Twinkle Adhesive Backed Sequins. So we used a little star, and I'll show you guys. So these, there are some that are silver right there, and then here's another sheet because they are sticking together a little bit. You just have to be careful. These are a little bit more kind of iridescent. You can see the, see the kind of pink, pink, purple, yellow, green, blue as I flip those around, but we use the silver one. So you get two sheets of each of those. So I'm just gonna kind of put those aside because that'll be our probably our last step. Um, hey, you know what? I don't think we're doing any big shot work on this one either, so I can spread everything out without a problem. Okay, so here we go. We have, I'm gonna give you guys measurements. So for our card base, this is basic black cardstock. What is that? Some, I don't know. I don't know what that is. You probably can't even see it. Sometimes I think I should just not say anything because you guys can't see <laughs> quite what I can see. Yeah, those little stars are cute, aren't they, Kim? Okay, so our eight and a half by 11 cardstock, this time along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, right? To make our fold for our card, okay? Then we have, this is more, right, of that awesome, lovely lipstick foil paper that measures two inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? This is just another scrap that we're gonna punch one of our balloons out with. And then, let's see, these pieces, the designer series paper measures three inches by four inches. So this is another reason 
when I'm cutting for multiples three by four pieces, then you can get one, two, three, four, then you get nine pieces. Is that right? Three, no, you get 12, sorry. You get 12 pieces of this three by four designer series paper out of one 12 by 12 sheet, okay? And then the Whisper White, sorry, I don't know if that actually confuses people <laughs> more than it helps. And then we've got three and a quarter by four and a quarter, our Whisper White piece. And then actually on the inside, we did stamp the Sweet Wishes inside there. So my Whisper White piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So we, I pulled out kind of an oldie but a goodie in terms of this um, punch, but I loved, I thought it was just gonna be really fun to um, feature this foil paper. So we're gonna use our Balloon Bouquet Builder Punch, the larger um, balloon. So we're gonna punch it out of the foil and then out of our basic black cardstock, okay? And that's all we need for that punch, right? Let's get that guy over there too. All right, so we've got all of these guys, we've got that. Now we are gonna stamp on here in our lovely lipstick ink, okay? We are gonna stamp, celebrate your day. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna press straight down, lift straight up. And then while I'm thinking about it, we're gonna stamp our sweet wishes on the inside for our card also, okay? And then we can scoot our ink out of the way. And then with, and I can't remember, this is some kind of a tag punch, I can't remember the exact name of it. Nikki, if you're on here, you're usually my good resource to tell me the names of those things. Let us know if you can. Maybe tailored tag punch, that might be it. Okay, so we're just gonna punch that guy out right there. And then I think we are ready. So another simple card, right? But super duper cute. Okay, so actually I need to flip that one over. We're gonna put some dimensionals on these guys. So I'm gonna put one on there and one on there. And then because these I kind of want to fit, or this pink one I want to fit in between the two black ones, I kind of did top and bottom. So it'll kind of sneak right in between there. And then actually we're gonna use a couple more on our sentiment, the celebrate your day. Okay, now let's see, we can put some, oh here, this is, yeah, I can show you this little piece, right? Tailored punch, thank you, thank you, thank you ladies. I thought that's what it was, the tailored tag punch. So this is some of that beautiful designer series paper, the back side, so black and white on one side in the celebration catalog, that botanical butterfly designer series paper. And then here is a little um, sample, a little sneak peek of the back side of some of the more vibrant designer series paper. Okay, so we're just gonna add our Celebration DSP right there to our Whisper White. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were still on, so I thought, okay, I'll just put a quick shout out and see. Oops, we don't wanna put that on yet. Man, I'm doing way more talking than I usually do when I'm stamping, so. You never know, ladies. There could be trouble ahead. We might make it though, because these, since they're pretty simple, I think I can probably do it. Okay, so we're just gonna put that. I love the black and white with a pop of color. That's why I was very excited. I was trying to figure out what am I gonna use that foil paper for? And it was fun because you get four sheets of it. I could use good size pieces on a card because we're actually making this card down at class today too. So I had to cut a bunch for class um, and I just loved that I had a lot to be able to use, you know, to show people. Actually, I feel like that might need to scoot over just a little bit because I want to have enough room to put my pink, my sparkly, lovely lipstick, and that's gonna kind of just fit right inside there. I wanna pop it up a little bit higher, but those glue dots fit perfectly right behind there. Okay, we're gonna take these dimensionals off right here and put that one there. And then, okay, so let's, let me grab my scissors again. So one of these little stars here, right? There we go. I got super quiet because this is funny. So um, I think the glue dots are actually, can you see that? That little guy right there, there's a glue dot. Maybe some one of them fell off, but the glue dots are actually in the shape of a star. I did not realize that. I just assume it was a little circle behind there. <laughs> I don't know if you can even see that, but I'm like, whoa, that's really cool. 
you learn a little something new every day, right? Okay, and then I had to add a little more sparkle. So with our silver, kind of still silver and white, I guess, baker's twine, we are gonna tie a bow and then just pop this on our lovely lipstick balloon. Okay, do that. So for this one, this is my little trick where I just add a little bit of snail adhesive. And then if that's too big, like too wide this way, I kind of use my finger and kind of roll it down into a little bit more of a line. So that then I can just put, and that gets a little, I don't know why some, it's like, um, gets a little twirled up there. So, but I'll kind of tack that down there. Okay. So there we go. Although, oops, actually I forgot about the inside of this one too. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna add some adhesive to put this one on the inside. The sweet wishes, celebrate your day. Love, the black and white with a pop of lovely lipstick. Foil, shimmery goodness. <laughs> Wendy, yes it is, all about, the, all about the bling. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of fun because the silver obviously coordinates and that's still and always will be one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is how everything coordinates. That little silver coordinates with the silver and the baker's twine. Obviously, the black and white, that's easy to coordinate, right? So, yes, so shimmery. Thank you, Miriam. So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed these projects. Let me scoot these things out of the way just a little bit. So, if you put your online order in anytime between now and next Wednesday, make sure you use the host code, the C-J-F-G-U-V-A-T. Order at least $30.00. You're going to get both of these projects that I demonstrated and your name goes in the drawing to win that awesome Home to Roost stamp set, right? Bump your order up to $50. You always get that free embellishment and then you're also going to get a celebration item, a choice too. So you could get the foil sheets, the designer series paper, the stamp set, lots and lots of good choices, right? So thank you guys so much for watching today. I feel like I just flew through that. And actually, I didn't, really. It's almost been an hour. Man, I can be super chatty when I want to be, can I? <laughs> it's just how it is, right? So, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much. I just love being here each Friday with you guys. I just really appreciate that you all show up and want to have fun with me, too. So, thank you. I just, I love, I love what we're doing here. So, thank you, guys. And make sure to share this with others, too, because I'd love to reach out and kind of share this joy and fun with as many people as I can. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody.